Today we're going to talk about the installation of your new electronic speed controller kit. The speed controller kit allows you to have a variable throttle and brake pedal on your car and a forward and reverse button. So the more the, your child hits the gas, the faster it goes, just like a real car. And same thing with the brake pedal. The more you hit the brake, the more braking you get. A couple of notes about this system. It's designed to run on 18 or 24 volt SLA style gel batteries. We do not recommend using lithium batteries or liquid acid batteries, nickel metal hydride. Uh, let's just stick with traditional SLA batteries, which is what ride-ons are normally designed to run on. Uh, the system has a couple of things with it. Your pedals will come with it. You'll get a wire harness that has plugs for motors for our 775 or 550 style motors. And then another plug that will go to the battery. Uh, the, this is our beta model. The actual model will have connectors on it where you can either connect your battery connector for your brand of vehicle. Uh, we also have an option to purchase a Power Wheels brand uh, style connector with it. Uh, and then you'll have a 35 amp uh, circuit breaker uh, that's built into the unit. And then of course the speed controller unit. It'll be stickered a little bit differently than our uh, test model is. Uh, but again, it's an all-inclusive unit. Installing this kit is pretty easy. The first thing you want to do is remove all of the wiring from your stock vehicle that's associated with movement. Uh, if you have wires for lighting or a sound system, you can leave that attached to it. Uh, but everything that goes between battery, shifter switch, gas pedal, and motors can come out of the car. Your stock shifter will not be used anymore. Some people remove the shifter. Some people will just remove the shifter handle. Uh, or just leave it there for the kids to play with. Same thing with the original gas pedal for the car. That won't be used. You can take the gas pedal out just so you have a flat uh, floorboard. Or leave it there as a third gas pedal and pretend your car has a clutch like no kid will ever get to learn how to use nowadays, unfortunately. Uh, so once you remove all the wiring, uh, you want to first locate where you want the pedals to be mounted. The kit's going to come with some uh, mounting screws. You just need two to hold the pedals down, whether you want to do one on top or bottom or one on each side. Uh, you can put some double-sided tape or glue if you want, but the screws seem to be doing good in all the test vehicles we've worked with. The pedals will be marked for accelerator and for brake on them, so you know which one is which. They're not interchangeable. Uh, we recommend setting it up just like a real car with the gas on the right and the brake on the left, uh, but you can do as you wish with it. Um, so what I'd like to see you do is have your child sit in the car and feel out where the pedals fit them best and mark that, drill two eighth inch holes, put the mounting screws in, you're done with the pedals. It's very easy to do. Your forward and reverse switch will come detached from uh, the wire harness. That way you can cut a small square hole wherever you want the switch to be mounted on your dashboard. Uh, it doesn't really matter where, as long as the cord, which we've given you about 20 inches of cord with it, uh, the cord's going to have to reach the speed controller unit. Uh, so when once you cut your hole and put this in, then you'll put your brown wire on the bottom and your yellow wire on the middle. There's a lot of plugs to it, and it does not matter which side it's on, uh, but the brown to the bottom of the switch, the yellow to the middle... If you get them backwards, then forwards and reverse may just be switched uh, and you just change them around. So not a big deal to do. Next step in the mounting is the speed controller unit. Uh, the unit that you get, again, a little more polished look that it'll have than this, but the same exact box that it's in, mounts with two screws. We recommend getting this up underneath the dashboard of the car so it's less likely to get stepped on uh, and any moisture on it. It is not a waterproof uh, unit. It's a little water resistant, but uh, we don't want to see it get rain directly on. So up underneath the dashboard, out of the way is the best place. Once you get a mounting place, again, two screws mounted on. Also double-sided tape, hot glue is an option for you. You shouldn't really need to access this once you have it all wired. So feel free to tuck it away if you want. Once that's mounted, we can start plugging some of the things in. The 
uh, pedals and uh, forward reverse switch will plug into here. You can only plug things in in one spot. You can't get it wrong. This is again your cord that is going to be for your battery lead. So you're going to run this up through the firewall. We purposely leave the connector off so that you can easily run the cords through the firewall without having a big bulky connector that you have to try to fish. Uh, so you'll run this through and then uh, if you have the uh, power wheel style connector, red to white, blue to black, get them connected up. This doesn't have a button on it. This is a self-resetting breaker. So this can also be up under the firewall out of the way. And then again, the speed control, you can only plug things in in one spot. I can't get this in the wrong plug. It'll only go in the one spot where we want it to go. And it will be labeled for input and output in from the battery. And then out is your out to your motors. Your motor wires, again, we give you a good long run with this. I think this is about a 36 inch run. Should be more than enough for uh, all the different vehicles. Uh, and then you've got two wires for one motor, two wires for the other motor. Once you install these on and have everything hooked up before you button up the whole car, hit the gas pedal and make sure both motors are going in forward when your switch is in forward. If one is going backwards, just switch the wires on that one motor. You can't hurt anything, get anything wrong. Just test it while it's in the air. If you have a brand new set of motors that you need to do the break-in on, you can do that just by holding the gas pedal down for the 15 to 25 minute break-in period, depending on which motors of ours that you have. Uh, there's no more low and high speed to the car, uh, and we're certainly not going to tell you to balance the pedal in a low position. So just run it in the high in, in forward direction for the amount of time. Uh, and that's really all there is to setting it up. Uh, one of the key things with the speed controller is make sure you do unplug it when you're not using it. There is no on-off switch. It's always a safety on a ride-on vehicle to unplug it when it's not in use because you don't ever want a kid to go to get in the car and step on a pedal by accident and have it take off and they fall down and hurt themselves. And also if you have any other kinds of lighting or sounds or anything that run off of the battery, that can be draining your battery down. Uh, so do unplug the unit when it's not in use. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple, easy plug-and-play system. You put it in, you run it, you have a good time. If you have any issues, please feel free to contact our support team. Thank you very much from ML Toys.